Okay, so uh, in this video, what we want to do is actually program a first scan. So we did um, protective programming in here for our speed commands, right? But what if a first scan happens? Like, say, for instance, what if the the we downloaded the processor or the processor actually went from, like, run? Uh, or we went up here. We went from run to program to program to run. Then we want, we want the speed to go back to zero for that matter, right? So it's, we need an, another protected device in there, right? So what we'll do is we'll say if, so we're going to start the statement again with the if. So if this happens, then we want to do this, right? So we want to put in the first scan. Uh, that's the first scan bit of the pro, of a control logic processor. Then we want to say, right we want to use our same tag right so we want to have our speed command right so browse tags again put your speed command in and then we're basically going to say turn that into a zero and then in this statement we still want to have an end if so anytime we start an if or we start a statement we're going to in structure text you're going to end that statement with an end whatever that statement is so in this case it's an if so we're going to end if right so just like we did here right so anytime just keep in mind I know this is kind of starting out kind of where you may still have if you're just just now learning structure text you, you may be you know this may be kind of getting um, kind of under uh, the understanding of it is kind of getting not getting broke down enough right now but we're going to be doing enough of it so feel you know don't get too uh, overwhelmed you will will definitely pick up exactly what I'm saying what I'm saying is if you start with uh, a statement then you have to end that statement somehow right so the end in our case being that we're doing the if we're going to end the if so we're going to end the statement so if we start a statement with an if and we tell it to do something, then we're going to end it with an if, right? So that's that's basically the, the premise behind an if then else or if then if else. So there is there is actually uh, an else if, I'm sorry. There is actually an el else if and we will show that in the next um, next video. But I wanted to clarify too that uh, another protected device um, and we're going to put a comment up here. So if uh, processor, oh, let's say, let's say processor uh, first scan, then move uh, speed to zero. <clears throat> so now we have, we actually have, you know, multiple things that we can actually and what we can do too if we really wanted to separate it even further than that um, is sometimes what I'll do if, if I feel like it's like really really important as I'll come in here and like separate it out like if I think it's it's something that is um, something is definitely to a point where I, I feel like it needs to be itemized and get somebody's attention then I'll do that and then I'll, I'll break it down into sections so I'll actually come in and like just use a standard comment right and just kind of just put like a breakdown section in there so almost just so that nobody can come behind me and get confused I can just simply say uh, in this instance um, this section is for uh, speed limiting <clears throat> so in, in that case you know you kind of get the you know you kind of get the gist of exactly what this does and you kind of get so we can kind of <clears throat> separate the things out and we'll just um, we'll save that real quick, and um, that way we actually have a first scan. So, and let's look at that real quick. So, what would happen? Um, so we have a value of 100 in there. 
So let's just take that and put it in program and put it back to run and do a watch and it, see the first scan happen. So if a first scan of the processor happened, then it's going to write a value of zero into the, the speed control, right? The speed command that we, right, the, the tag that we put in. So we said if a first scan of the processor happens, then we want to push a zero into the speed command tag that we put in. Then end if. Now we can still come back now that that's happened. It's not going to happen again, right? That was just the first scan. So now we're actually can we can go back and put a value in there and now we have our speed. So what we'll do is we'll end this video and we'll pick up and what we'll do is we'll start adding logic to actually control the speed. So now that we have our protective devices in there as far as our our um, our first scan to make sure the speed stays at a certain speed on a, a processor first scan and now we have our limits in there to say this is the minimum the machine can go or the minimum the speed can go this is the maximum the speed can go so we want to we have those va protective values in there so now we want to transition to start actually programming the speed control as far as like if this happens you know like if a button's pushed then do this so we'll go ahead and end this video and pick up on the next one so i look forward to seeing you there and uh, we'll keep on with the training